He's kind of a nerd, but he's great. Kind of a nerdy, cool guy. Strange? I don't know. He talks in different accents. I just uh, finished watching the uh, Wimbledon final. Now I'm changing to Australian, you know, out in the bush. Where do you think you're going? That's a man named Mickey. His crazy dance moves. Hey, 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 hey. I love seeing him do the Moose song. There was a great big moose, was a great big moose, who used to drink a lot of juice. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Beards. Beards. Furry face. He is an old soul in a young body. Be with like little tiny kids, not even the youth group, one moment, and then the next he's talking about really mature theological issues. He has this gravitational pull. All the kids can connect with him. He just kind of opens his arms to us, and he was really welcoming. You can meet him and talk for like five minutes, and you already start to like him. Every conversation has at least five topics within the first five minutes. The next thing you know, we're, we're, we're delving into a scripture. I don't think I've ever had a shallow conversation with Kevin. And we've had opportunities to have conversations about, you know, not just our work here and not just the church members, but um, just our personal lives. Always engaged with whoever's whoever's talking to him. He does a lot of encouraging. There's no one else like Kevin. He's he's very understanding. He really connects with everybody. Real um, nice of people. Like even in the drive-through, he'll just be like, "Thank you." He likes to bounce off ideas, you know. He's got a lot of things going on in his head all the time. Cabot always has an idea. He always has something that he wants to do. When Cabot decides to do something, he commits to it. He really gets into it. He's himself. He's a goofy, fun guy, and that's just himself all the time. He showed who he really was. He was being himself, and that kind of showed me to how to be myself. He's like your own little... You can lay on him. I'll say he's like a pillow in a way because he, he's always there. Kevin's always been... He's always been here for all of us, and he's really supportive of everyone. He's always, he's always been there for me when I needed him. He's awesome, and he's always there for others. He's one of the main reasons I do youth events and stuff. So I talked with him before I got baptized, and he really helped me like know why I was getting baptized, and like helped me really understand what was happening. He's always talking about God, and that's one of the wonderful things about Cabot. It's He's not just a youth minister. He's not just a Christian. He is a godly person. I love you, Cabot. You, you've been such a big impact on me, and you've really shaped my life, and I don't know what I would do without you. Dude, life, you've been there. Love you, Cabot. I'm gonna miss you. I love you, and you've just helped me. You encouraged me. Thank you. I know I haven't known you very long, but I hope you have a good success with what you're doing. Cabot, you have turned my life upside down. You've made this best for me, and we'll miss you, even though you're just a car ride away. We love you. Cabot, you've been a great leader. If you hadn't been here, I probably wouldn't have been coming to many of these events, and my faith wouldn't have been as strong. I'm going to miss him, but I mean, I know he needs to do this. Love you, Cabot. Cabot, I've known you ever since you first came here. When I got into the youth group, I got to know you a bit more, and that was just awesome. Now that you're leaving, it's just sad. It was great. You baptized my brother and me, and it was awesome watching Thundercats. Cabot, it's been good working with you for two summers, and it's been really neat to see firsthand uh, the impact that you've had on a lot of these kids. I don't know what you're going to wind up doing, but you're going to be great at it because uh, you'll put your mind to it, you'll put your heart and soul into it. I'm excited to see what the future holds with you. Thank you so much for these, you know, since I was a visitor to where I am now. I'm glad that you were here with me. I'm going to cry. And <laughs> a lot. I'm going to cry a lot. You better come back. <laughs> like, you have to come back. And I want to say this as a parting message. Lose the beard and show the dimples. It'll do you a world of good. I wish I could have his beard. When he leaves, can he like donate his beard to like just onto me? I'm gonna miss you a lot, have it. Just know that we all love you and you're free to visit anytime. Five words, just five. Thank you, I love you. Don't change. Never change.